Uh, it's Hello Memo. We're back today for what I'm very, very confident could be the final episode of Martian Forest, Melon and the Forest Gift. It has been a journey and a half. Went on so much longer than I expected, but also rised way, way above my expectations. So if this is the end, let's hope we can deliver a satisfying... <laughs> Conclusion. I got distracted because I heard the frog just going. Rrr, rrr. Uh, since this could be the end, it doesn't matter how much I use, but it's still on pointlessly going over. Uh, one more, I think. That could be 2900, right? Yeah, I'll keep on. I like, what, oh, sorry, what am I doing? What do I have the most of? Just in case it's not. Oh, pff, okay. That would have been a good thing to start with. See if I can craft any quick uh, potions as well. That could be useful for a quick little help if I need it. Might be my nice campfire. At least until I probably go back to get everything else. Ooh. Caution of Dark Sea with us. I'm going to pop about two weeks. Don't forget the water. What does it do? Have I made these? Fuck it. I hope I don't regret that. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of all of these. Yeah. Oh, shit. I hope I don't regret that deeply. Now, we'll see if I can cook anything too. I don't bother, actually. The only time I'm going to really use that if I'm here, so. Let's go, Rosetta. Good night, Melon. Still. Oh, yeah! I had a quick check ahead at the end of the last one, didn't I? There's something big coming. I just checked like the first thing that would happen. The first like, thing to have a reason to turn it off. I was going to see if there was a new enemy too, but before I... Jesus. 13,000. Let's go. Oh yeah. They put these back every time. That would be an awful start. Into... The inner sank. Fuck, that went way too fast. Ah well, I'll slow it down. The inner sank. Oh. We appear to be in a lab and he's back. Me bring book to master. So many books, thank you. It's bath. Master? Could he mean? Master is waiting for you back there. Okay, so I couldn't have gone that way last time. I didn't really check. Uh, I mean, I'll go the longest way I can possibly go. There's lots of uh, alchemic or tortured equipment around, I can't tell. <laughs> That's either a good sign or a bad sign. And after I went ahead, this is exactly where I turned it off because I happened upon... Upon Paracelsus. Oh shit, what the hell is this? Oh, I thought they were floating. Ah, here you are at last, Rosetta. How I have yearned for this day to come. Paracelsus! You're the guy I saw in the dreams that they gave me. How can you be alive? Isn't he immortal? Alive? Don't be ridiculous. I'm dead. The damage my body took during the experiments that day was so great that even Azoth's power of resurrection were insufficient. Did I meet him? I actually... No, I, I didn't, did I? Of course, having willingly given my body for that experiment, I had already accepted my fate. That day, when when what happened? He sacrificed himself for master experiments. But how? No, why are you here? What you see before you is my astral form, that is to say, my spirit. Then why is your astral form still here? 
I must admit I did not understand that myself, not at first. The astral form should linger here for only a short time before being drawn into the cycle of transmigration. Such is the rule of fate. He is weirdly imposing. Like, he is... Fuck. And yet, the fact remains that I have continued to exist. I have you to thank for that, Rosetta. Uh, me? Yes, you. This space is but an imitation of the astral realm. You could say that's a sort of shell, independent from wor the workings of fate. It certainly has some surprising properties. For one, it captures and imprisons souls from the laboratory. Souls are normally supposed to move on, but those that are held within the space have been severed from fate's rule. All the souls here, including my own, are thus trapped in a semi-permanent limbo. The fuck does semi-permanent mean? <laughs> and the one who created this space was none other than you, Rosetta. But me? But how? I haven't. It's only natural that you would re wouldn't remember. After all, it was not your conscious mind that created it, but something deeper within yourself. The attachment you have towards this world is so strong that it has prevented your soul's rebirth. Come, surely you've realised the truth by now. You paired it with the body master gave you quite some time ago. What? No, that can't be. When could I have... Normally your lifespan of a homunculus is approximately six years. However, you are something of a miracle. I predict that your lifespan was once at least half of a person's. Note that I said predict. That is merely an estimate. After all, I died before you. You failed to recognise your own death? Or no? I think it might have been more accurate to say that you never tried to. The strength of your feelings created this place, and since your death has allowed you to continue to wait for your master, let's call this space the false astral realm. This astral realm has enveloped the laboratory and it can continue to exist by capturing various souls. I guess that explains the Reaper scythe. Since the barrier between this world and the astral realm is quite rather ambiguous, contact between it and the physical world is possible. And while it is a rare phenomenon, it is not entirely unheard of. For example, we have not have we not all heard tales of people des desecrating the tomb of a king from millennia past only to find themselves horribly cursed? Those trespassers like us are, like us, pitiful souls who became trapped in the space created by a powerful, by the powerful nature of the ancient king's regrets. How could I have done something so utterly foolish? Fear not, for I shall release you. I have continued to conduct my research for that very reason, in anticipation of this very day. And that research will soon be complete. But why? You're dead. What do you hope to achieve? There is one, but one thing I desire. You, Rosetta. But what is that supposed to mean? Up until now, the only thing that has motivated me to act is my honest curiosity about you. I seek to return you to the material world as one liberator from the rules of fate. That is such a cool fucking line. I don't know about anyone else. I love that line. I seek to return you to the material world as one liberated from the rules of fate. To that end I have prepared a vessel, the culmination of my work in life and in death, all for you. Uh, what? Huh? That's... Rosetta. Yes, this is the vessel that will perfect you. Rosetta, you are a homunculus, the master created.
Some Final Fantasy X vibes from that, I swear. Homunculi are supposed to be made by having an elemental spirit inhabit and prepare the vessel. In place of a soil. Homunculi are supposed to be made by having an elemental spirit inhabit a prepared vessel in place of a soul. However, in your case, the soul of a person came to inhabit your vessel instead. This was nothing short of a miracle. Albeit an imperfect one. The vessel could not contain your soul, you see, and so it was divided, split apart. This is the reason why you were never able to become a complete person, despite have it holding another soul within you. I have a soul? A person's soul? Indeed. And this vessel I have prepared. This ultimate vessel will be the first of its kind, capable of flawlessly containing a person's soul. Do you think any other researcher could have dedicated over a thousand years to research alone? Of course not. This achievement was only possible because I made it, because I made it so. Me, who escaped a cycle of transmigration. What a character. What's more, I created this vessel using tissues I collected from your body. It is perfection. All of your hair, sweat, spit and parts I saved were very useful. Ew. You've had it all this time. You've had all this time. And this is what you've done with it? Indeed, this is everything to me. My entire reason for existing. And half of your soul. <gasps> that was the thing! <laughs> oh, that light. Despite the fact that she was but half a soul, I was unable to acquire her for some time. It was only when she was weakened during the previous battle with the two of you that I was finally able to capture her. She is utterly pure. She knows nothing of what has transpired. Poor thing. How could you? I will return you to your you to your original soul with my own two hands, Rosetta. So what, her soul split in two Okay. <laughs> Why? What would be the point? I can offer the life and me understand your way of thinking. All I want is for my soul to join masters. That is all. Unfortunately for you, Rosetta, the master's soul does not exist within this space. Perhaps that is because his soul transmigrated long ago. I cannot say for sure. Wish all you like, but I very much doubt your soul will ever be reunited with the Masters. No. Do not fret, for you are not alone. Once your resurrection is complete, I will create a new vessel for you. In preparation for when your second form has rotted away. The flesh matters not, but continuously exchanging your vessel for a new one, you will become eternal. You and I will transcend all other living beings. Why are you so obsessed with me? It goes so far to extend my life. What is the point? If you were to fade from this world, my entire reason for existing would go with you. Finally, become one. Oh, looks like she's raring to go, at, le at least. As I'm sure you've already discovered for yourselves, she is a lo prone to terrible violence. On account of her purity, you'd do well not to resist. What? <laughs> she's prone to terrible violence because of her purity. Now let the show begin. My frag. Meant. Oh, thought we'd have a battle. Ooh. 
Incredible. She has created a space for the purpose of merging your souls. Ah, uh, did you see? Did you use bath as material? Controlling the elements, living an eternal existence, and yet so possessed of mortal feeling. Truly, this is the territory of the gods. Do you really believe that you can create God? Such folly. Your soul will be punished with sin beyond forgiveness. What of it? If so, I will simply transcend divine punishment. Fucking love this guy. It's far too late for me to turn back now. Proceed. Um, <laughs> Rosetta? I really don't get what's going on. But you know what? I can tell that this is causing you a lot of pain. So whatever you decide, I'll help you see it through to the very end. I would not have been able to make this fair by myself. I cannot begin to describe how reassuring it was to have you by my side, Millen. You truly are indomitable. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Oh, there's no need to thank me for that. I couldn't have made it here without you either, Rosetta. And you know what? I think that your soul is a little... I think that soul is your little sister. Let's go save her together. Right. It is far too late for me to turn back now. Proceed. She's here. The girl is here. It's upon us. The feast is upon us. It's so cool looking. I love the look. It looks pretty much the same, but still. Oh, my fragment. How I've searched for you. At last we will be one. Having just now learned of your existence, I am rather troubled. However, I do know a few things for certain. For one, I am a homunculus created by my master. For another, all that I possess in this moment is all that I am and would ever want to be. Melon. Are you sure about this, Rosetta? I am. Okay. Ready? Ready. I'm kind of glad I'm a bit overleveled because this would suck to have to do like 20 times and get sick of. Return to me. I can still get my ass kicked. Who knows? A tombstone for Rosetta's soul has appeared at the entrance. What? Oh, right, right, right. The boss thing. Repeat bosses. Poison field. Deadly poison. How deadly. Not too bad. Oh, nice. Black bleed. Oh, shit. Okay, that's bad. You know what I really love right now? A parry. Get some of my potions in. That one. Got your Rosetta soul. Warding. Perfect. 25%. Hey, so she do not have a strength one, what? Speed increased by 30. I don't even know what that means. Oh, thank fuck. 25% is a lot at this point. Consider I'm doing like, what, 999? I hope this doesn't kill her. I doubt it would. It's 22,000. Roughly. Yes! I think that's the most powerful one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poor Rosetta's soul. I should have used some potions too. Please don't let me die. Thank 
Thank you, Rosetta. Okay, that's fine. As long as it doesn't do more damage with poison now, I'm fine. What? No, 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 I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so it's two attacks. That was close. Oh, please stop. Please let me heal. No! That was a close one. That was- Oh, no, no, come on. Out, out. <laughs> I don't want to lose against this. I love a hard boss as much as the next person, but I still want to win. I don't want to lose this if I can get sick of it. That would be awful. That would be the worst outcome. Fuck's sake. I'm really disappointed by that. Oh, fuck's sake. If I... Oh, she did two attacks. If I just healed when the first thing happened. No, if I just healed when the first... Uh, what's it called? Parry happened. I would have been fine. Potions really quick. I'm very upset by that. That would have been a cool fight to win the first goal. There we go. Alright, uh, back we go. What an awful thing to happen. Oh, and I have to go back to like three floors. Do you know what? For the sake of not over lengthening this and just keeping the pace going, I'm going to cut back. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm a couple levels higher. That took way longer than I expected to get back. There was way more left than I thought. I also can't use a... Fucking tent inside, unfortunately. So I couldn't even save before to make it faster. Does this game have one skip? Oh, God, I thought you could skip this part. Ah, well. Be right back again. Oh, wait. Could be fine. Okay, we're good. Is there any chance? No, we can't even open the menu here. It's a shame I lost, because having to go through all that, sh ah, that kind of... Took the momentum out a bit. But here we go again, round two. Alright, let's actually win this time. If I parry, I'll be sure to actually heal. If I did that last time, I would have been probably fucking done with the game by now. Who knows? If, oh, God. Because I'm, I'm, as usual, I'm doing this late. Oh, well. Okay, okay, stop. I'm not back. I, it's kind of hard to get back, back used to an actual fight. Because uh, obviously the enemies on the way here aren't really too powerful at this point. In fact, I think I can even kill the big guy now at one... Special, I think. With one of my chaotic flurries. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Rosetta. Alright, let's do all these again. If I do somehow die again, the plan is to turn... Not turn off. Uh, save right outside. Come in here, and if I die, just... Why did I only think it? Fuck! How come I only thought of that now? If I just thought that before, I could... I could... I went right back in. Should sure, I be like three levels lower, but I think I'm okay. Somehow. Oh, I didn't get the strength portion, that's awful. At least she's using good attacks. She's not using her fucking sight. I'm pissed off. Please don't attack. That's fast. <clears throat> no, no, no. Okay, never ever fucking do that with that attack. Always be ready for pursuit after flat blade. Pursuit. Oh wait. <laughs> Perfect. It's gonna like the other who was the other enemy that did that? Can't remember off the top of my head. Oh it was the red knight, yeah, the zombie knight. We use two of them. Oh, 
gonna use two of them actually again. I I'm not taking risks here. There's no fucking around with this battle. Who knows what there's it's gonna throw at me? It could be dead right now. Last time I was doing like what twenty four? No, yeah twenty. Like so. There's about 300 more per attack. It's not going to make much of a difference. Ah, it's fine. Does that mean it's dead? No way. Oh, okay, that's fine. 25... It almost makes me wonder, like, is it supposed to be significantly lower level at this point? Am I supposed to be? Because if I'm taking 25... Like, poison is supposed to be something. How low level would I have to be in low HP would I have to be for 25 HP to matter? A hundred of them would I suppose be half my health, but... Still. Am I gonna get hit by that? Oh, whoops. When am I gonna get hit by a hundred times? I'm gonna say 23,000 roughly. Jesus. Poor thing. Oh, oh. Were those three flames always around her? Or did they appear off to do something? Careful now. Go for it. Nice. Pursue it all you want. It helps a lot. This could be it. No idea how much HP she has, but this could be it. Does she have an extra flame? No. Ah, your mouse, that's still great. 8,200 is plenty. If she keeps doing that, it's over. It's kind of crazy to think she has over... Wait, wait. I'll wait till I finish this attack before I say this. It's crazy to think she has over 100,000 HP. Assuming she survives this. No, she already would. You'd never think an enemy in a game... If I showed you this game right now, would you ever think an enemy would have over 100,000 HP? It's not as bad as other things hitting me, but fuck, a thousand is nothing to sneeze at. Is that even the right phrase? <laughs> it's nothing to scoff at. Two. Ah, uh, should have been one. I could have healed myself. Fuck. I don't want to be stupid either. Like, I don't want to hold back too much, but I don't want to be dumb. Could be dead. It's over. Push, pencil. It's not over. The music just changed. That's very concerning. Sorry, Rosetta's uh, body vessel. It may be over. Like 200,000 damage maybe so far. Anyway, I very rarely see that. But twice today, funny enough. Come on, come on, come on. I didn't care how much it's practically at all anyway, but I still wanted to be done before she attacked me. Perfect, full health. I hope it's not some weird battle where I'm supposed to bring a very specific ability. Like, this the one fight where I need that other thing I have. <laughs> Wouldn't that be shit? It's all because I did stupid things the first time. Okay. <gasps> so happy how we killed. <laughs> that could be it. I only wanted to return to normal. You're my little sister. We might be separated for now. We might be separated now, but our feelings are one. I will come back for you. I swear it. So please just wait for me a little longer. Thank you. I've longed to hear those words. She should be able to wait for you in peace now. 
preposterous. I wasn't able to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. The results of all my research. Ruined. Gone. It can't end like this. I won't let boy did you waste your time. <laughs> That's right. Of course it's not over yet. I'm not letting you go so easily. Paracelsus. Please have mercy. Rosetta, I will not give up on you. That was wrong, but fuck it. I have you now. With this, we'll be together. Forever. Please don't do some shit like this. This loneliness. This anxiety. This amalgamation of love and hatred. You're the same as me. Come, Rosetta. Become one with me. Desire. Jealousy. Hatred. No. This is wrong. This isn't me. Rosetta, let me in. Bitterness. Sadness. Pain. That's not mine. Oh, he is definitely transforming. Into garlic. Huh? Rosetta? He, he turned into a giant garlic. What, what else is that? <laughs> what is that? The fuck is it? Oh god, what is that? Be careful, Melon. I think it's a cocoon. Come on, be cool, be cool. I'm liking it so far, just please be cool. Um, Rosetta, what's going on? This must be the result of forcefully trying to merge souls together. He's lost control. And become something twisted. I'm going to stop the recording and restart it really quick. Okay, back. Because of all of the things I've done, this is the one I would hate for the most to be lost. Because this has been too much fun. So you finally made it. Would you like to come back to the entrance and prepare? No, I'm good. Time to release Lost Souls. Sorry, that just feels wrong. The final battle. Let's do this. I will have you mutant Celsius. <laughs> He's coming. We need to find a way to stop him and separate his soul from my little sisters. Aww. Nice. You've encountered mutant Celsius. Anxiety. Jealousy. Love and hatred. All of the emotions I suppressed are rising to the surface. I'm scared. Let's go. Okay. Left arm strike. Can I parry? Fuck. I could have parried with that, I think. Let's try. Oh shit, what's this? Dude, stop. You have to you have to name your attack. Oh what's happening? Reverse magic something healing. Oh god, I was just thinking, am I gonna. Okay, I don't know if these are still equipped, but I'm gonna go for them anyway. I think. What's it called? Paste is. So I'm gonna ignore that for now, because that lasts a little while anyway. Oh, I'm terrified. If I, will I have to do the first fight again? It's easy, but it's it's like the first time with the boss. It, it's a bit long as well. So. No! Oh, thank god. <laughs> I think that just heals fully, so let's go for it. This is fucking badass. Look at that. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's like... I don't know. It's like almost a weird twist of... Kind of amalgamation of every villain we fought. Every boss. Oh shit, there's Bat! He's just hanging out the side. Is he... Oh god, he's coming out of him. 
Okay, we can. He's this is a different angle. Gotcha. That's another. Yeah, it's like twenty four thousand damage, give or take like a hundred. Fuck. It's crazy how far the damage has come. I do know about ten. Nice. It's like four thousand six hundred every uh, attack. Two every string. Every one of them, I guess, is so good. Like 24,000. Oh, I'd say if I can get 10 of them, I should have it. Maybe. Hopefully. Another 3,000. She's doing them a lot more consistently too, actually. Just attacks in general. I feel like at the start it was a rare thing. It's such an... Everything about this is appropriate final boss. It's a giant transformed monster. It's after a different boss. It's huge. The music and environment are really up, like epic. There's a giant fat thing coming out of his bottom. That should be fine. That doesn't look like it would attack me. What did it raise? What did it for? That's okay, I think. Nice. I'm gonna try to dodge it. I guess I'm not. Perfect. Flawless timing accidentally. One more down. Like, it has to be. 24,000 has to be a good chunk. It, it can't not be. Nice. Best one. That's a good like 30,000 damage if I can get that out and if that's not allowed I don't know what could be. I don't trust that one bit. What's it doing? Oh is it going again? No. It's kind of crazy like a thousand damage in one hit. What used to be insane damage is now a one hit. That's Oh my god. Go on. Go on. Do something good. Your Mazza. Ah, okay. Fine. I thought I was dead for a second. Okay, I know I can dodge that now. Nice. That's one attack I can dodge, one I can parry. That's more than... More than I can really hope for. I have three things to heal me fully. I think I got this. That must be at least a good 250,000 damage already. Go on, go on, do it, do it, do it. Not that. Come on, down you go. Nice. That was close. I almost didn't get that. Oh shit, does he have a wing? I didn't know it was the wings. At least I think they're wings. Oh, they are. That's cool. That's fucking amazing. Stop with the side throws, Etta. You could have done another, like an extra fifteen to 20,000 damage total by now if you hadn't done the scythe. Cat, I'm so fucking... Oh, the amount of parries I'm getting there is just... It's really helping. Finish him. There we go. Not the best one, but still fucking great. 4,000 is fantastic. He... <laughs> How many of these have I used? It has to be at least a good 300,000 damage by now. Go on, Rosetta. Ah. What's it, like four now she's used? Four sight. Perfect. I mean, it might be really bad, but perfect for not hurting me and give me a chance to heal. Five hundred, five hundred, five hundred, full, full, full. <sighs> what the? I I wish this game was more popular just to see how much HP he has. Somebody would have figured it out by now. Anyway, that's like 4,000, right? 3,000? 
Ah, decent. Can't. I can't believe how much HP. This has to be 400,000 by now. Don't tell me it has like a million. <laughs> That's the fucking music in the background. It's perfect. Is that five now? If she had used... Muramaza every time instead of that scythe. That would have been an extra 40 to 50,000 damage by now. Think about that. He's dead. It's over. It's not over. What was what's blue? What's blue? We safe? We good? That was terrifying. I don't know what to expect. No, stop. What's this? Is that the same one? I thought I had a different name last time. Thank you, Rosetta, for the 67 health. <gasps> Part of me... Wait. No, not that one. Part of me is afraid with the other one if I don't block, it's going to kill me. I don't know why. I just have that weird feel. Piss off with that. I don't trust it. It's too simple. What? Four hits with okay damage? That's way too suspicious. I don't trust it one bit. Fuck. Got sloppy with that one, I'll admit. Finally. I'm not being stupid. I don't give a, f a fuck if I need it. I'm not being done with this. I am not doing this fight again. This has been about 10 minutes. It's cool. It's epic. Once. To have to fight this again would be awful. Cool. Just doing 10 minutes of dodging the same attack. Oh. Once is fine. Twice will be a pain in the ass. Dude, come on. I swear that has a different name every time. Not every time, but... Archangel's Judgment. Okay. AJ. I'll remember that. AJ. Probably remember the whole name, but still. Just remember AJ and I'll be happy. Archangel's Judgment again. Full disclosure, if I fail this battle, I'm turning it off and I'm going to come back next time. It's already been going for like 40 minutes, so... I would go off screen, level up even twice or three times, just to have a tiny bit more... Oh my god, I just lost my health. Fuck, that's scary. Please punch me. So I'm guaranteed to... Oh, okay, there we go. Fucking breadsticks! Now I'm scared. Now I'm not scared. <laughs> Mm, healing with that seems like such a waste at this point. I'm, I'd rather waste a potion than die. For some reason, I feel like I could get that potion back somehow. Whatever it requires, faster than fighting this old boss again. <laughs> Which sounds insane to say. He could be dead. Okay. Total of 28,000. Ah, come on. Stop being alive. Is there is there a gimmick? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, if I can get two heals after that, then it's good. I just... I, I don't know. I'm starting to feel like there has to be more. If they expect you to do this, bo bo this boss at a lower level, imagine this taking twice as long. Supposed to be fair, if it was taking twice as long, it'd be way more... With lower level, it'd be, it'd be way more intense and scary. So you'd probably be all on edge the whole time, but still. 
Please, at least one, 500. That's all I ask, just one. That was bullshit. The camera angle changed, I couldn't tell. Don't kill me. I'm begging you, not now. If I die, I'm just, I'm done. Please punch. You have to punch. Don't do this. Please. Can't. That's fine, that's perfect. Come on, one five hundred, please. It don't, I can't go down like this. If I lose against the spot, it'll actually ruin my night. Perfect. Appreciate it. Come on. How much fun HP does this thing have? Perfect. Please, one more, come on. Just for once. One time. Good. I'll take it. This is so fucked. There has to be a gimmick. Am I dead? Oh, good timing. I can't get over this. How much HP? He must have a, a, a million by now. He has to. There's absolutely no way with the amount of things I've used this hasn't been a million. 500, 500, 500, I'm dead. Nice. <laughs> Stop. My pants were filling. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. The amount of panic in me for the last minute or two is unbelievable. I don't think a game of that made me feel that panicked for that long. Okay. At uh, mutant Celsius. Fuck off. You've overstayed your welcome there. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That is possibly the luckiest timing I've had in my life. I don't know what he said. I missed one. I'll... Fuck. I can't get over that. If that had happened three... Gwarg. Three seconds earlier. Possibly. I get ten seconds. Dead. And I could have torn something in two. Because I know already this game does not pause. If your battery runs out. That's terrifying. I'm sorry for causing you so much pain. One sec. I want to see the line I missed when I was rambling about shit. If my HP had gone. Or my battery had depleted there. Her soul is leaving me. That's what he said. If my fucking battery in law went out there. Zero percent chance of surviving I think. my heart I can feel it someday I'll make sure I whoa oh no <laughs> we're going to it appears that this space will no longer hold now that she is gone its collapse has begun it, is that you Paracelsus Fear not. My soul will leave this plane soon enough. I... I see. I have been alone all my life, Rosetta, ever since I was born. But when I met you, I felt recognised. A kindred spirit. 
we shared the same loneliness, the same sense of inferiority. And yet we fail, have failed to understand one another. How can this be? Perhaps the answer that, to that question lies in the qualities I lack, but that the Master possessed. Go, if that is what you wish. A teleportation circle? Paracelsus. What a battle. What a fucking battle. What a string of emotion, Paracelsus. He saved us, huh? If he cared for you, I think he cared for you in his own way. I'm not sure about that. And yet, it's true that he was always alone, both in the laboratory and during all the time he spent here. He said that his soul was move on, right? So maybe someday you'll meet again. Yes, I think I'd like that. It would be nice to talk to him again. I think that I will be moving on myself very shortly. But there's something I must do first. No, don't go. Okay, I'm right behind you, Rosetta. Then let's hurry. I want to be by my master's side. He has their fucking rifle. That's perfect. Perhaps it's an illusion caused by the strange space, but... Everything that transpired here feels incredibly fleeting. Of course, the time I spent with Melon was, and will remain, an extremely precious memory to me. The trials that await me may be tough, but I only need to call I only need call her bright eyes and indomitable count countenance to mind to get me through them that's what i believe this is some drakengard near style music i swear in the best way it was not long after this that melon arrived in the deepest depths of the laboratory the souls who have been trapped here in the impenetrable darkness of the laboratory were freed and they and Melon returned to the surface at last. As for myself, come on, Rosetta. Come on, something good. We better not have a fun, sad ending. Spirit World, the forest to purgatory. Together with my master's soul, I am on the journey of the late repentant. There's so much I want to talk to you about. So many things have happened. Where should I start, hmm? My dear Rosetta. Our journey is a long one. We have plenty of time. There's no need to rush. Yes, Master. Well, I've thought a lot about all that's happened, but... Somehow, I'm struggling to find the words. I see. You have been through a lot. To start with, I've met so many people. Melon and all the others who came down from the surface. Paracelsus, my little sister. That's right, Master. I had a sister. Ah, the other half of your soul. Yes, I made a promise with my little sister. I see. As I've said, we have a long journey ahead of us. Perhaps it will even go on forever. It must be painful for you to contemplate making her soul wait so long, after having made such a vow. It is. Then why don't we, then why don't we lead her soul on? That act alone won't be enough to absolve us of our sins, but it's a start. Surely you could grant us this small favour. 
Minstrel of Dusk. Ah. So she what, like the... I lost sight of the little soul for only a moment, but when I turned to find her, she had wandered off again and was gone. So she like the overseer kind of thing, or... I will make this report to those above. Good. Glad to have at least some residents of heaven are not as uncompromising as I thought. It's been one week since my mom went to heaven. Saying goodbye to my mom and Rosetta was really hard. But I'll be okay. I have my dad and the rest of my family to help me through this sadness. Oh, speaking of family, a new friend came to the forest. I think it may be two days after I left the cave. Melon, over there. Over here. The bird is back. I get the feeling I've met this girl somewhere before. Where are you from? Oh? Uh-huh. Really? Well, this is the force of curiosities. Why don't you live here with us? Yep. You're not alone anymore. I'm Melon. Let's be friends. What's your name? Who's she talking to? That's a pretty name. Nice to meet you. Home again. Oh! Is that the vagrant? She made it safe and sound. Melon's already given her a warm welcome. Oh, with Melon by her side, she'll be able to lead a proper life. They'll grow up together, I think. To give the soul to a new body. That was a wonderful idea of yours, Nicholas Flamel. Is it Rosetta? Uh, the whole soul? Just the second half? Or... And that has been Martian Forest, Requiem of the Astral Realm. I don't know what else I can say that I haven't. I have to check out that director if he's done anything else anyway, definitely for sure. Absolutely. Holy fuck, what an underrated gem of a game. I was thinking about this and out of all the games I just decided to kind of pick up with no information, checking out anything like that. This has genuinely become one of my most cherished ever. You know, fishing together. One sec, I want to check something really quick. I don't know if it's just the little sister part of the soul or... I want to read back and see if it told me I missed one line or something. Maybe I was just too caught up in the moment and didn't see it properly. Beautiful music, by the way. Sometimes it got unbelievable. Like, I said, or, oh, yeah, there was what's in there, the scarecrow thing, the, the chef thing. Like, this music got to fucking near Drakengard levels and familiarity. And that's an accomplishment. That is good. That's definitely a compliment. This is a beautiful ending theme. Ep cast episode 3, Melon, Ayana Takitatsu. Oh, it's the voice actor of Rosetta Soul. Lethe, Minstrel of Dusk. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Dr. Paracelsus. Kaz oh. Luna. Oh, yeah, the mother. Flintlock. Marauder, the Outcast. Galax Earth the Wanderer, Nicholas Flamel, the Vagabond.
Holly in school. <laughs> Colchus the beefy. Oh, he was a boss, yeah. The dark non Benedictine, the bard, <laughs> Ribbert. Order of the Fallen Mem. Oh, was that one of the. Yeah, yeah. Egg shaped creature. I don't remember that one very well. Let's say devotee. Oh, it was on the group that were watching her when she was doing the thing. Tutorial VTR narration. Seriously, though? What a fucking game. Like, this has been such an un. From the second, especially though, it, it was good before I met Rosetta. When I got to her, it went above and beyond at some points. I remember, like, what was it, five pages of a diary from her without even knowing who she was. I, I forgot that she was on sending the relics. And I was tearing up. From a fucking five pages from a character I didn't even know. When she thought about how much she loved the uh, of flamel and all that stuff about him dying. That was, am that was some fucking amazing stuff. Presented by Primary Orbit. As far as I can tell, that's the only game they've ever done too. Which is a f unbelievable shame. I think it was 2015 on like phone. Oh, well. All life must someday come to an end. But the soul is eternal. See and experience the world again. And when your time comes, rejoin those you love. As for those two young girls, their tale has just begun. What good deeds will they perform? In whom will they find love? What's wrong with what's with what wrongs will they commit and how will they redeem themselves? Lend me your ear again another night and I will play their songs for you. I hope that oh it doesn't seem like the most popular game in the world, obviously, but <coughs> as far as I can tell like as far as I can tell on PSN profiles it had a thousand and something buyers. On Steam charts, I had zero people playing. Uh, so is that it? I might regret it. I think I should check it out. Oh shit, we're back here. I think Rosetta's gone. That's quick. Uh, she'd be with me the whole time. She was with me here, wasn't she? So, wait, am I stuck here? Let's talk to... Uh, just one quick little clean-up thing. Can I still level up Rosetta? If I can, then that means I probably just went back to before I started. Weird. So did I literally just go back to the last save? But I saved manually since then, didn't I? So why would there be an autosave... Yeah, my HP has gone down. So, as far as I know, that's it. I'll definitely do a little look around myself in my own time. Just to make for sure that it's done. What was the Welcome Home trophy? I'm guessing that's for finishing the sixth layer. Let's have a quick look at that. I haven't done... Ooh. I'm going to check out for that too if I can. Where's the one? Can't believe I never did a thousand battles. That's insane. I might do like a bonus thing just to finish that part. Because I'd like to know what that's about. Parry 500 time. Wait, where was Welcome Home? Oh, it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah. Six layer. I'm guessing, yeah, we can't leave. Yeah, I'll look into it a little bit myself. I think that's it. That has been Martian Forest. It has been a quick review, I guess. Story-wise, there wasn't much of it, but when there was, it could be unbelievable. Still pissed off not knowing what that's about. I want to chat to him while I'm talking. Uh... Okay. 
Story wise wasn't much, but it was it could be really fantastic. Everything with Rosetta I genuinely just adored. I wanna to talk to him one last time as well to see if I can get anything new. Gameplay as much as I hated the first time I did a battle because it had no HP, no nothing to it. It was just a weird fight where like attack, get hit, attack, heal, get hit. I forgot to give him the sushi. <laughs> when you did, like, I honestly thought if this game has battle, it might be shit. It's so simplistic but fun. It's just dodge, attack, whatever, block, and then hit. Fun. Simple, very fun. It got weirdly emotional at times, which I would never have saw coming. Like, there was times where I was very close to just tearing up hard. It's been an unbelievable experience. <laughs> Okay. And I guess even the music was f unbelievable sometimes. It's been... It, it's even cute. Look at this game. It's adorable. Didn't mean to do that. What else can I say? It's been easily one of my most underrated gaming experiences of all time. I got it so cheap. I even bought the soundtrack. It's, I, I didn't want to buy the game again because it's like 30. <laughs> and it's a little much to spend on something I have. Maybe in the future. If they ever do a physical edition, 100%. But I did buy the soundtrack, so I wanted to give him something. Sparrow counter. Let's see what all this is about. Is a technique allows you to attack while evading. Boy, that would have come in handy. <laughs> Boy, would I have been fucking much better off if I had gotten a lot of this earlier. That would have been really helpful. <laughs> I... It's, it's the worst thing is I, I can't even recommend this game to everybody like how could I do it I don't know what makes a good dungeon crawler I don't play it a much this might be just me my kind of fun that nobody else would like and for 30 that's kind of a tough one oh I have these already I think but these are better versions if anyone ever sees this who has played a lot of dungeon crawlers and is familiar with the, fr the genre feel free to let me know is this if you ever try it out, please let me know, because I would love for you to give the endorsement is actually good as a dungeon crawler. Actually, the best way to check if this was a back to beginning thing. Do I have five portions? Six, yeah. But yeah, that's it for the beautiful, emotional, incredible journey that this was, that I... I really hope they do something more. I'd love to fucking... If I see a sequel to this game, it is going to be, like, very high in my most anticipated games. So, one last time. That is it for Martian Forest. Melon and the Forest Gift, and I had a few subtitle chapters too. Rosetta, Paracelsus have become some of my favourite characters ever. In anything. Definitely going to be looking into it more. There might be one more episode if I decide to check out what the Yggdrasil thing is and the, if it's not just a side thing. And maybe the level 99 thing. But with that, thank you for watching any of these. If you ever play it because of this, if you ever play it at all, let me know. I, I, I'd love to see this get more attention. But it's definitely going to be a cherished little game in my heart for a long time. And I'm definitely going to be looking into some of the people behind us to see what else they've done, if anything. So... See you for whatever I decide to play next. And goodbye to easily one of the highlights of my gaming life ever. Definitely on the PS5. See you for the next one.